Happy Monday, Evolutions families. I hope you had a wonderful Easter weekend. Today's theme is all about the zoo. So I am reading the Usborne Illustrated Alphabet Zoo today. Thank you very much to Usborne for allowing us to read this book. <clears throat> a is for alpaca. It was a bad day for the animals at Alphabet Zoo and it began when the alpacas ate all the apples. So many good A words on that page. B is for baboon. The baboons wanted a big box of bananas but had to make do with buns from the bin by the bench. C is for cockatoo. The cockatoos were completely confused. Their carrots were covered in caterpillars. Ooh. D is for donkey. The donkey's dinner was so dirty and disgusting, she kicked it over the fence. That's not very nice. E is for elephant. Even the elephants didn't have enough to eat as a teeny weeny mouse kept stealing their eggs. F is for fox. The foxes were furious as someone had forgotten to fill their feeder. G is for gorilla. The big gorilla wanted green grapes, but got garlic. Gosh, he was grumpy. Grrr. H is for hippopotamus. The huge hippo hoped for some hay, but the hens hid it in the hen house. Horrible hens. Look at them. They're saying hee hee hee. I is for iguana. The infant iguana was ill with an itch. Oh no, poor baby iguana. J is for jaguar. The jaguars were not overjoyed with just juice and a jar of jelly beans. I think my kids would be pretty happy with juice and jelly beans. They don't get those very often. What about you? K is for kangaroo. The kangaroos kicked up such a fuss when a kid kept chucking kiwi fruit at them. Not very kind. Not very kind at all. L is for lion. And someone lobbed lemons at the lions for their lunch. Oh no, who's throwing the lemons at the lions? Who's up in this tree? a mischievous little monkey right there. M is for monkey. The monkeys made a mess with mud. Mmm, who will mop that up? N is for newt. The naughty newts nibbled a nice nurse's newspaper. Na 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 na. That's what that little one's saying down there. O is for ostrich. An ostrich stole an orange and jogged off through the orchard. Oh! P is for penguin. The penguins pigged out on pizzas, prunes, and peas. Q is for quail. The quails and the quetzals had a quick quarrel over quarters of Keen's fruit. Then they felt quite queasy. R is for rhino. The rhino didn't really rate the rhubarb in the Tidbits Rabbit's restaurant, but he approved of the risotto. S is for snake. 
The snake seemed sad at the sight of one soggy sandwich for supper. I don't think snakes like sandwiches very much. What do you, what do you think? Do they like sandwiches? No. T is for tiger. The tigers turned down turnips and tried to take a tasty treat from a tall teacher. Oh no. U is for umbrella bird. The umbrella birds were unhappy that their ugly fruit had got quite uppity. V is for vulture. The vultures were very vexed. Their vegetables were vile. Ugh, vile is a good word. Vile means really, really yucky and disgusting. W is for wombat. The wombats went wild when the wallabies went for a wallow in their water. X is for a xenopus frog. The xenopus frog tried to kickbox with ox, but he lost. He had to have an x-ray before his leg could be fixed. Poor frog, look at that. Y is for yak. The yaks wanted yams, but got yesterday's yellow yogurt. Yuck. Babies. Thank you. And on that very bad day at Alphabet Zoo, while the alpaca, baboons, cockatoos, donkey, elephants, foxes, gorilla, hippos, iguana, jaguars, kangaroo, lion, monkeys, newts, ostriches, penguins, quails, rhinos, snakes, tigers, umbrella birds, vulture, wombats, xenopus frog, and yaks were all yelping and yelling and making a hullabaloo. Zack, the lazy zookeeper, was snoring. So the zebras from Zambia zoomed along the zigzag path and zipped out of the zoo. Oh no, they're escaping. Z is for zebra. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you have fun learning all about the zoo. And I will see you all again tomorrow.